as of today, these are your tiers of college football teams. In the top tier, we got the teams who I think of today could win the national championship. You got Washington and Ohio State have already been battle tested once this year. And I know Michigan hasn't played anyone, but in every game they play, they take care of business and bury the team they're playing. Next, I got the playoff caliber teams. Even though it's not a big jump, I do think the top row has an edge over the bottom row. That teams like Oklahoma and Florida State who have been tested this year, but if we get them into the playoffs, I don't know if they can compete with those top three. Penn State will see this week how they'll match up against Ohio State. Even though it was close, Oregon did lose to Washington. And Georgia has played too many close games. And with Brock Bowers out, I had to push him down to the playoff tier. Then we have teams like Texas and Alabama who have lost key games already. But they could easily win out and still make the playoffs. And then we got a little bit of a Mickey Mouse, North Carolina. They could keep winning, but so far they haven't really played too many tough opponents. And then I put Notre Dame in this tier. I know they do have two losses, but that Ohio State loss literally came down to inches and having 10 players on the field, and they just dismantled USC. Now here are your teams that are pushing for a conference championship. In the top row, we got teams like Ole Miss, Oregon State, Duke, and LSU, who right now won't make the conference championship game. They all have opponents in the two tiers above them that if they upset them, they could possibly make the conference championship game. Then in that second row, I think those are all teams that might make the conference championship game, but have huge holes in their team. Iowa, they don't have an offense. USC, they don't have a defense. And Utah, they don't have a competent quarterback. If those problems could be fixed, I could see them jump into the next tier of the conference championship push. And we have the teams below me who are pushing to just stay in the top 25 or get back into it like Clemson. You got Louisville down here. It has a pretty weak schedule, but they did just beat Notre Dame. You got the two SEC East teams down here, who I think are a bit overrated, but they still can compete to go to the conference championship game. They would have to have a miracle to beat Georgia. You got Clemson, who I think is a sneaky pick for the ACC championship game still, but so many things would have to fall right for them to make it. And then you got UCLA, who's blending in with the background. I just think they're a year early, and they need Dante Moore to keep developing. And finally, for the group of five teams, we got to show some love for the group of five teams. Right now, they have Tulane and Air Force who are in the top 25. Teams like JMU and Liberty who are still undefeated. Makes me think, is there a reality where we have four group of five teams rated in the top 25? Which I think would be amazing for these small programs. Here's a full picture of the tier list. Let me know what you think, which team should be in which tier differently.